Welcome to Electrified. It's your host, Dylan Loomis. With more reports coming out that Tesla's next Gigafactory will be in India, it's time to take a closer look at what this could mean for Tesla. Tasmanian came out with this report and it does have some new details that we'll take a look at here shortly. India has been trying to reduce its dependence on oil and to cut down on pollution, but its attempt to promote EVs has so far been stymied by a lack of investment in manufacturing and a lack of infrastructure for charging stations. Geographically speaking though, of course India makes sense as it is spaced relatively well in relation to current gigafactories and would likely give Tesla a strong shipping option with the Indian Ocean. The population in India is 1.3 billion and the population in China is actually also 1.3 billion and then the US is around 330 million. So yes, in terms of population, India is about four times the size of the US. But of course, we need to nuance this data. It's estimated that 800 million people in India are poor, living in the countryside, getting by with odd jobs. There is a lack of employment in rural areas that's driving a lot of people into the growing metropolitan areas like Bombay, Delhi, Bangalore, and Calcutta. India's GDP was growing between 7 and 8% for the past few years prior to 2019, which yes, it was the fastest in the world, but a lot of that was driven from their starting point, which gave them a lot of catch up potential. Getting into the auto market, there is some hope to be had for Tesla and the country at scale. India became the fourth largest auto market in 2019, displacing Germany with around 3.9 million cars sold in the passenger and commercial vehicle category. India is expected by industry analysts to displace Japan as the third largest auto market by 2021. However, I need to mention two and three wheelers do make up a very large part of the domestic Indian auto market, along with small and mid-sized cars. Two wheelers made up 80% of the market with small and mid-sized taking another 12% market share. And this brings us to EVs, which has been a focus of the government. The Minister of Road Transport and Highways, Nitin Gadkari, said that India is going to become a number one manufacturing hub for auto in five years. And yes, they are doing what they can to promote EV adoption, but we need to keep in mind a big portion of the auto market is made up of those two and three wheelers, and the EV adoption is more likely to grow with the commercial vehicles rather than the passenger vehicle space. Information from Data Labs shows us that by 2030, commercial vehicles could make up 70% of the auto market, with passenger vehicles only making up about 6%. The EV adoption rate in India is still less than 1% for the country, but reports say that the desire for the population for EVs is very strong. It's just that the real world adoption hasn't yet caught up with that high demand. Things like range anxiety, higher prices for EVs, battery manufacturing, electricity demand, and a lack of charging stations have all hindered EV adoption to date. The good news, however, is that I believe brand is a big deal for this market and Tesla is obviously the gold standard here. We also know that Tesla is the brand that people overspend their typical auto budgets to drive. Tesla will be competing with Hyundai, MG Motor, Mahindra Electric, and Tata, other companies in the four-wheel EV space. Could we see Tesla swinging for the two-wheeler market here? While this is pure speculation on my part, I think it would be awesome and obviously a massive, massive deal for this market. So this brings us to the latest news on Tesla in India. Nitin Gadkari said that Tesla will begin selling EVs in India in early 2021 with the first deliveries in June. He also said that after assessing the reaction to vehicle sales, Tesla could then consider internal assembly and manufacturing. So basically, if the demand for Tesla and the ability to afford a Tesla is large enough, Tesla would then set up shop in India. Tasmanian also reported that Tesla is going to open an order configurator in India in early 2021 so that early buyers would be able to get their cars by June. This has also been confirmed by Nitin Gadkari. 
all of the cars will be CBUs, which stands for completely built up. So basically they'll be imported by C. Initially, word on the street is Tesla will deliver around 2,500 cars, all of which will be Model 3s. The price is expected to be around $75,000 to $80,000 in US terms after import duties, fees, etc. So if you've been a loyal watcher of my videos, you know Tesla and India have been in talks for months. Craig Irwin of Roth Capital said that Tesla is in the process of selecting a site for a manufacturing facility in India. In addition, an Indian think tank just shared a proposal to provide $4.6 billion in incentives to companies building new manufacturing facilities in the area, and this proposal is under consideration by the government. If it passes, it would probably move the needle a strong bit for Tesla. So to bring this all together, Tesla is going to test the waters of the Indian EV market. If things go well in the next few months with the online configurator, then there's a good chance we see a gigafactory in India begin construction in the back half of 2021. This is however not a done deal by any stretch as some people are saying, so just keep that in mind. And look, no matter what anyone says or argues, no one really knows how well Tesla would do in a market like India. It is very, very different than the United States, and I hope that this video has helped you to understand that. This obviously doesn't mean that Tesla can't or won't succeed here, it's just a new set of challenges for Tesla, but as we know, if anyone is up for the task, you already know it's Elon and Co. But that's going to do it for today's episode. Please like the video if you did. Consider subscribing for more Tesla content. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I hope that you have a great day.